story time. So yesterday I'm driving the car, and it's about 7, 7.30, uh, which is irrelevant to the story, but I figured I'd give you the information. And I'm driving the car, and I start to hear uh, like a... Real faint, real little puffs, right? And I'm like, all right, well, I pretty much know what that is. It's an exhaust manifold gasket leak, right? So car's got 240,000 miles on it. It's not surprising, right? So behind me is my Dodge Caliber, which is ripped apart because I had a split in the radiator. So I'm replacing the radiator. That's the condenser. Uh, the radiator's over there. Uh, so I'm replacing the radiator. I'm going to do a coolant flush, oil change, uh, spark plugs are new in there, uh, cabin and engine air filter, uh, and then exhaust manifold gasket, right? So I got a whole list of things that I'm doing um, to get everything going. Go to look to take the headers off of the block, right? To change out the head gasket, um, or not head gasket, sorry, the exhaust manifold gasket. And uh, I don't think it's the gasket that failed, so check this out. All right, so here's a better view of the car. I got this thing ripped apart. Um, so anyways, yeah, I go to uh, <clears throat> take off the headers. And, uh, you know, they're cracked. Uh, like big cracks, like valleys, right? So I don't think it's the gasket uh, that failed. Uh, the actual headers failed, which is really weird. I've never seen that before. I guess they just overheated over time. So anyways, uh, project's done for at least now. I got uh, I gotta go get some new headers. Pulled it off. Uh, a lot of cracking on the backs too, on the back of it too. So it's weird. I didn't have any symptoms of an exhaust leak. Like I didn't feel any vibrations. I didn't smell anything. And I keep an eye on my gas mileage. Every time I fill up, that's when I update my. I have this uh, this app that basically keeps track of all my services and stuff like that. So oil filter, chain, you know, change, blah, 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 spark plugs. So every time I fill up my gas tank, like I know my fuel mileage and stuff like that. Didn't notice a dip in that either. Um, but I don't know how that's even possible with as much damage as on there. Um, like I said, I got I got it pulled off here. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's gone. You know, there's multiple cracks. There's a giant one in the back right there. Um, so anyways, that's toast. So till I go get uh, another one tomorrow, everything uh, stops here. So at least I uh, I can spray paint the uh, uh, heat shield there for the exhaust manifold. So it'll be ready. But uh, yeah, that's where we're at now. Start tomorrow. All right. Yeah, I know. I know. I look like a mess. <laughs> um, so here's where we're at. So it's about two thirty in the morning, and uh, here's the process. So I got the new radiator installed. Uh, oils changed. Uh, spark plugs are changed. Uh, new cabin air filter is inside. Uh, coolant uh, has, has at least been filled, so it's been drained and filled. Um, obviously, as far as the, I can't finish the oil change or uh, the coolant uh, change or anything like that until I actually get the car started, and I can't really do that with the exhaust manifold off. Um, you know, blah blah blah. So. I'm at a stopping point right now until I can get the exhaust manifold. Alright, so I got something I want to share. <laughs> Small victories. I have something that I want to share with you guys. I'm still working on, on the car. I had to get parts and stuff. I had stuff to do today. Anyways, it's, it's been one of those days. Anyways, so I'm putting the exhaust, the headers back on, right? The exhaust manifold. And I dropped a nut. Where? Into the exhaust, right? Right here, conveniently. <sighs> into the catalytic converter. So, I know obviously that the catalytic converter, that logically, the bolt has to be right here because the catalytic converter would not allow a bolt to pass through. Sorry, a nut. This is what I meant to say, a nut. So instead of having to take the, the entire exhaust system off, <laughs> Here's what I did, and it worked like worked like a charm. Worked like a charm. Where's it at? <laughs> so I took a mag a magnet strip, which I had hung on the wall, which I never ever use, and I cut, I grinded a piece off. So I had this little <laughs> this little fitted magnet, and then I had a rope just in case I I dropped the other you know the serp you know go fetch this for me stick, 
in the, the catalytic converter, I had an escape uh, rope, and I tied it to a, a tiki torch. Um, uh, what do you want to call these things? Wick. A tiki torch wick, because it's flexible, right? can bend and move and stuff like that, but it's long enough and it's firm enough to where I can at least get it in the uh, catalytic converter. And, uh, you know, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. You know, it, it got it out. So, still a piece of magnet on there. Anyways, uh, what, a, what an absolute nightmare that situation was. Like, who does that? Who All right, guys, so the car is done. Uh, I've been driving it around for about an hour, and uh, everything feels perfect. Uh, matter of fact, um, I can I don't know if this is placebo, but I can definitely feel a difference in performance. Uh, there was a noise. I guess the engine was uh, making the noise because of the exhaust leak, and I just uh, maybe over time just never paid attention to it, um, but it's much quieter than it is now with that exhaust leak fixed, and I'm also noticing like it's not sputtering as much again some of that may be you know blamed with to placebo um but i'm thoroughly happy i think i fixed more than one issue um with with the car at least the issues that i was aware of um so uh, very happy with uh with how everything went uh, at the end of the day i think i spent about 250 dollars in parts um dude if i would have taken this to a mechanic and had them do all this work it would have costed me thousands um, and it only took about a day and a half uh, work-wise for me to take care of this. And there's a, a great deal of pride when you uh, spend that much time working on a car and it runs, you know, way better than it did before. So anyways, just wanted to give this video a little bit of closure. As far as the YouTube videos, I'm going to start categorizing them and getting better at organizing them. So keep an eye out for playlists. Uh, there will be playlists for like interior details, exterior, mechanic, you know, and then obviously I'm going to make one for Instagram stories. The reason why the videos are kind of cut up weird and the audio is kind of cut up weird. All these videos are being pulled for Instagram stories. So I'm going to actually start uploading those to YouTube if they're, uh, if they're interesting or just something I want to archive, um, just to kind of, uh, follow along with the, uh, with the red diamond story and, uh, just so I can see them years down the road. So anyways, I appreciate you guys watching this so much. And, uh, and like I said, if you want to see any more mechanic videos, I uh, just uploaded, uh, the uh, brake video, brake review video, um, which, like I said in the comments section, if I have a if I have a big uh, a cry out for uh, the brake drums, uh, doing a video on that, I'll most certainly do that uh, the next time I change my drum brake. So, anyways, again, thank you so much, guys. Take it easy.